Hey guys, welcome back. It's definitely been a minute since I've done a video. We are coming up on holiday season. What does that mean in 2020? I don't know. Something that makes me feel happy is red lipstick. I think I'm going to keep this kind of simple. That's typically kind of my aesthetic for makeup. It's not perfect. It's something approachable and easy. I just want it to feel kind of effortless and something that anybody can kind of go to if you're just feeling like you need something. I think a classic red lip, a bold brow or a nice full brow, and then keeping the skin kind of simple. I might do like a wash of something on my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and just get started. Pin my hair back because I end up just like messing with it the whole time and my hair gets greasy just looking at it. So it's just a little Anastasia brow spoolie with a little uh, angled brush on the other side. My brows are kind of unruly. I'm definitely starting to get some of those oh, right there. Um, I, called the, I call them old man brows. I will trim them every once in a while um, but my brows pretty much don't grow anymore so I try and keep what I have and if they get real long I'll just snip it but I'm gonna really make my brows pretty full for this tutorial again keeping the look simple I love a red lip it's definitely a classic easy makeup look and I think it should be in everyone's makeup bag arsenal if you will it's like the little black dress of makeup Sure, you all have heard this before. This is nothing groundbreaking, but I'm going to just start off with a little bit. I've got some little samples of some of the Dr. Barbara Sturm. I really do like her products, but they're expensive. Not for everybody. You can find some really nice products out there that aren't as costly, but I'm just going to go ahead and hydrate. So I bought some Lisa Eldridge lipsticks last November, and she's just recently launched some new shades and she actually just did I want to say she added some lip glosses to her collection so it made me think you know what I'm gonna just do one of her lips in this tutorial it is the velvet ribbon first of all the packaging is beautiful I do have a video where I think I used one of the darker shades I mean this is it's just so pretty so we're gonna use this I love this color so that is going to be our lipstick. Kind of work on the brow area. Anastasia pencils and brow gel. I also have a couple of her powders. I like to kind of back comb and just kind of almost like get these really fluffed up. First I'm going to do a pencil. A pencil gives a little bit more structure so if maybe you're missing patches or you're starting to thin in areas and you actually need to build the shape and structure you will want to reach for a pencil. The NYX drugstore brand makes almost kind of dupes almost for these guys. I feel like these might be a little bit the consistency might be a little bit more waxy which kind of holds the hairs in place. I do really like Anastasia brow anything. I'm going to start kind of more through the arch out. This is an area that typically gets kind of thinner. I even kind of come backwards and I'm kind of just running it right through the brow right now. Not so much above or below. Um, I'm just kind of getting this product in the brow. And I do this in stages where I fill in, kind of buff it out fill in again and I'll probably use a couple different shades. I find a taupe is pretty universal unless maybe you're deeper complected then you might want to do like a medium brown to a deep brown. I try and avoid anything that looks too um, red. Certain browns can actually pull a bit red so a taupe always I think is a good starting point. I sometimes like to go backwards but I'm getting it kind of like building the density up almost. I find powder is really great if you already kind of have the full brow and you don't want to kind of manipulate the shape but you just want to make it um, a little fuller looking. So I'm just going with a little powder. You can also find brow gels that 
almost have little fibers too that cling to the hair. So I think it's just a matter of finding what works for you. It depends, I'll do all three. Again, it just depends on the look of what you're going for. I think the one is actually dark brown. This is definitely deeper. Almost like the cloak was a good little guide. Just kind of start to deepen. And I am extending this just a little bit. I've got a few patches here. Take that brush and really want to pull that and blend that in. Erase that little line that I made. And the brows, they definitely are not the same shape. So I always say kind of approach each one on their own. And then you can kind of at that point determine where you might need to raise or um, drop the shape. So for foundation, I'm going to just go in with, I love me some Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the soft setting concealer. Literally just kind of take it in the areas that you want a little bit of coverage. So for me, you know, I have tons of melasma. It's never going anywhere. So it's mainly just to kind of even out. This is shade 32. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my Real Techniques little brush, some little contour brushes. If you want more coverage, you want to stipple. If you want it to be lighter coverage, then you just take some little soft buffing motions. I definitely have been breaking out um, around the chin. I think it's just from mask wearing. Nobody else experiencing that. Typically the center of the face you do want to be a bit brighter there. This is a self-setting concealer so it doesn't require powder. If you're pretty oily you may want to powder. I'm going to do a little bit of powder for my brows. I'm going to do the dark brown. I think with the lighter one first and then maybe do the deeper ones. Okay, next we're going to do the Kosas bronzer. I'm using a nice big brush. I also got this really, really beautiful blush and highlight. I have a couple of these. This is a new color I just bought. This is called the Ape Muse and it's the cream. It's the high intensity, uh, which I sometimes like to get because then you can kind of control the, the level of brightness depending on how you apply it. I might use my finger first to apply this. So I just kind of like pick up a little bit and then and I'm keeping it a little bit higher on. You can actually just keep blending that in with your finger but I do have a little brush here soften out those edges. I kind of just tip the edges. I want this quite full on. I'm just softening the edges out. Another thing that I'd like to do is Go ahead and add just um, a fun little wash. This is a new product I just got from Kosas. It is the 10 second eyeshadow. The color is Z33. It's this nice kind of purple shade. Now how these work, it's kind of liquidy. And you just go ahead and pop them on and then just kind of like buff them out with your finger. I think I'm gonna just get the shade with this pink one. I love purple and red together. And I'm just kind of like softly patting these kind of on the lid. And then I'm going to just kind of start to get a little bit patchy. Just kind of pull it up a bit. Keeping most of that color on the lid. And then I might go in and do maybe another layer or two. 
this is a rectangle. Like this is lying, and then I just kind of fill out the gap. I like these because you don't have to be perfect. Under eye brightener, this is a Prep and Prime pen from Mac. I really haven't done any concealer actually like under the eye and these are like little shadows that you kind of want to whip great for areas where maybe the nasolabial fold is starting to be a little bit more apparent This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Setting Powder. I'm going to use this a little bit just kind of under the eye. And then I want to set any sort of concealer or product that I put underneath my eye. Brow gel. Mind it builds really nicely. On the lower, I wore it the other day and I kind of feel like it got a little bit smudgy. So, honestly, the best one that I've found for lower lashes is Extended Fright by MAC. It's just a solid mascara. It just does what it needs to do and it stays in place. A little bit of this curl. So, what I like to do is Take that bend and come underneath and get like right into the roots and massage that in. This is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon Simcosis Blush Eyeshadow Bronzer. A little makeup forever concealer for my base and then everything Anastasia for the brows. I hope you liked this video and picked up at least one or two new tips or tricks or something that maybe that you haven't tried or thought of, um, or maybe even just the color combo of purple and red together. I really like those 10 second eyeshadows because they're easy, they're quick, you don't need a brush, um, you can layer them, and then if you really want to experiment, layer eyeshadow over the top to see how intense you can get it, or start with the shadow and top it with that. So just Give it a try, see. I put a little bit of the um, Eight Muse cream blush on my cheek and a little bit kind of over the top of the purple. And I think this is kind of fun. I definitely like the mascara, but I think it kind of smudges a little bit underneath. So um, if you are somebody that has a problem with things kind of transferring underneath, uh, you may want to give it a shot for the top lash, but the lower it might do that to you because I noticed it the other day. But I was also wearing a face mask. So everything right now, extra humidity and all of our steam coming out of that is just breaking everything down. So really obsessed with Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Hope you like this video. I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share, um, hit the notification bell, and uh, thanks again for joining. Okay, see you next time.